Hey everyone, welcome back to another XO Zeros video. Today we're going to be grading the new season five update before it, you know, comes out in a couple of hours. So let's go, you know, put a grade on everything, not really everything, the important parts of this update. So to start with, this is an update that started yesterday, November 24 to 25. This is part one. So we'll start with the battle system reorganized. Um, there are a lot of parts here. So let's uh, change in hero stats, which is expected. And uh, we'll have to see the effect of this one once the app update drops. First grade I'm going to give is hero and fate core skill rebalance, which I'm going to give an A. Because again, there are a bit you know, um, overpowered fate cores and underwhelming fate cores. So this is actually welcome to me. Uh, also the heroes, um, because some don't have fate cores. So again, the rebalancing is actually going to be good for the game, especially for PvP. Next is going to be the removal of the hero's garden stone. So this one is also an A because this is only applicable to the hero. So we have we still have five more garden stones. Next is going to reduce hero growth system. I'm going to put a B to this because number one, this is going to simplify it. But also this was also the one that, that kept the enhancement unique. For me, I think they should have only taken down the Hero Awakening and everything would be good. Because again, the, the Hero Awakening only complicated things way back when it launched. So next would be your Hero Attack Type. Okay, no, not Hero Attack Type. Would be Hero Nationality Balance Reorganize. Okay, so... My opinion on this is there are a lot there are going to be a lot of players will be affected by this. Um also the rearranging would have to you know have to have different lineups affected. Um therefore this is going to be a fail for me, which is an F. Um because they had an opportunity to more or less add um, a couple of a uh, couple of heroes from day one when they launched, but they didn't. They weren't able to add to the newer, newer uh, nations. And what they're gonna do is this a quick fix of transferring from one nation to another, which is unfair for me. So that is why this is an F, really failure on their end. So signature force rebalance is the next. So Signature Force Rebalance, I'm giving them an A. Again, because they're evening it out. Not really a spike in in buffs, but a, a really even distribution because the buffs are added to all the heroes. not No longer to, to certain heroes. So this is an A for me. Next is going to be your Unleash Potential Change, which is also an A for me. Um, little change. Um, leash potential was actually good already. Not really that fantastic, but you know, good for the game already. And next is going to be your existing equipment system change, which I'm going to give a C. Um, because again, for me as a player as well, I I don't really like you know the you know to unequip change then equip again um you have to do it for all of your roster so <laughs> again this is going to be a lot of work moving forward so next is going to be uh move forward 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 exclusive weapon system reorganize so ex exclusive weapon system reorganize is going to be a b um, the exclusive weapon system before did not have any buffs. The, oh, this is all. This this is going to be the change. Fate core exclusive weapon. So function change as well. So it's only going to be um, the combat power that's going to change. So I'm not really you know uh, kind of average on this. So I'm giving it a B. 
Next is going to be your battle system you organize. The battle system, I'm kind of liking it. Kind of not. I'm actually in the middle of this at B+. Plus. Um, we'll see. We'll see how, how this turns out. I'm kind of leaning towards the positive going up a grade, probably to an A. But again, I'll have to see this um, on how this pans out during gameplay or the actual gameplay. Okay, next is going to be your... Okay, sorry. Um, again, for the refund system, this is our, this are refunds actually. For the refund system, I'm going to give this a C. Because again, I hate changing things with a lot of heroes involved. Refunding, then crafting, then equipping. Again, this would really take a lot of time. So, I don't like the refund system. Therefore, I'm giving this a C. For the recall... The recall is actually here. So recall functions. I'm um, going to give this a B. Um, it's good that we have a recall function. But again, a lot of... Don't really like a lot of work for this one. So going to have to be average on this. Then next next is going to be your... Um, also, uh, sorry, I forgot to mention the Fate Core recall. So, Hero and Fate Core Recall, I'm actually, again, um, this is going to benefit those who are not going to, let's, for example, this one, um, for Xeon, if you're shifting to North One Frosty, and if you're not using him anymore for Linombe, then this will be favorable. But again, this, this recall system is part of them not creating enough heroes. I don't therefore I don't I don't really like it. It's good that I'm giving them a B at this point. So next is going to be again our signature force recall as well. So same grade, it's going to be a B. Okay, so these are just the uh, content upgrades, the same old, same old. I'm gonna skip through this, go directly to Mythic. So Mythic, uh Mythic Rude is uh going to be dropping and of course this is what i hate about this the mythic recruitment system at first they have a different currency but eventually they're going to have all the mythics available and your regular recruitment i'm i'm actually on the fence with this because i'm not sure why they're going to have a se separate um you know have a separate currency to start then eventually put them together in the same recruitment system um, this is just, you know, um, costing the player base. Basically, I'm, I'm still, I'm still salty about uh, Misty, but again, it's going to be the same experience for a lot of players having to, you know, I either buy or be, you know, just be frustrated with the, 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 the recruitment currency for this one, and. <laughs> Again, to purchase it from the shop is actually very expensive. I'm going to give this a C at this point. Next is going to be your artifact. So for the artifact system, I'm going to give this a B. Um, it's good that we have this. But again, you're going to take away a lot, but you're adding another complicated thing. So it's like just being equal, taking away something and adding something so it's like plus minus so you're basically ending up where you started before so for the artifact system i'm gonna give this a b um nation recruitment nation rec uh, nation premium recruitment i'm gonna give this an a because i like the way this is going you purchase this then you get all three so at least you're guaranteed they're ready to get all three fate cores, um, all three um, fate cores in the picture for a specific um, nation. This is actually good for beginners because you don't have really to look for them and you have have a difficulty in getting these fate cores. So this is actually an A for me 
also for the gold for the this one the gold blue black fate core selection chance up i'm gonna give this an a as well because again this is good because if you want to pull for just gold and be my guest just blue be my guest this actually simplifies the game in terms of recruitment and for the chance up recruit i'm also an a for this one because once you get the mileage another mileage comes in so this is just what they're doing so you can actually have multiple mileages once you get the first one you can you know just recruit and have another mileage at the end so this uh this is actually good this is an a for me as well new new equipment system update i'm gonna give this a b plus i like this system in terms of um the sets set bonuses i like this so i'm gonna give this a b plus uh for now next is going to be um equipment system holy dragon ground holy dragon ground is actually a good venue now for farming equipment so for me i like this because i i first and foremost i like the, co the this content before i'm gonna give this an a uh for for them revamping this um you know giving it more interest now uh before this was an after you 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 play this this doesn't have any importance anymore but again this is good and the currency actually has changed so more you know more times that you could uh, go inside and farm equipment for this one so the combine uh sorry next is going to be the last uh, update okay so the combined daily dungeon i'm actually happy with this because you'll be farming less uh, they combined the content for the challenge so very happy um this is going to be an a on my book um holy dragon grounds um again an a i if, if i forgot to rate it zeben studio is going to be next which is going to be a b plus um i like the changes but again not significant enough daily tournament it's going to be a b uh air squadron battle i'm gonna rate the changes to a b plus air squadron raid b plus as well and embodiment of avarice also a b plus okay string of creation they should have you know taken this out because again this content is i really hate this especially for a beginner this is just a zest trap so for this one they failed on this one they should have taken this out and um i'm giving them an f scout system airship theme these are basics jari function scout system I like this because they balanced it from from the ones that uh, have um, a lot of scout points to less and from the new ones they added so this is actually a balance which is good um, i'm giving them a b plus for this and that's it so um exos festa a lot of fate cores actually then we have of course dorka i think i'm just gonna be going back to farming this um, especially for dorka the red and these are just uh, additional content or the usual content that we have so nothing no changes so these are small changes again for this update but the bigger changes are we already actually tackled so again for the overall my overall feel of the update and my opinion this is going to be a b plus at this point that's actually generous enough because i know that they're trying their best to create a better you know better game experience for all the players but again this for me uh being start you know starting you know starting from launch and until now been playing this game and it's a frustration for me that they have to revamp everything because they didn't put any effort into adding content or adding heroes in the first place so um hopefully this you know this change pays off and ho I, it's gonna be either the player base is going to love it or the players player base is going to hate it at this point 
So we'll see in the next couple of weeks, couple of months, how does the player base react to this? And hopefully they can, you know, they can decide whether this game has improved or this game has even deteriorated moving forward. Okay, guys, so if you're still here, please consider subscribing to my channel. And also, don't forget to click that bell icon and put a like to this video. Thank you, guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.